Welcome back friends. Today we're going to do another art resin pour on a very textured surface. So stay tuned and I will show you how to pour this resin, get this nice even look, how it brings out the colors. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, so I am all set up. I have my gloves, very important. I have these tiny bottles of art resin. Um, since I'm only doing uh, small boards these days, I just um, have these small bottles. I do have larger ones. But for now, for these videos, we're gonna be working on small boards. Um, this is an eight by eight, so it only takes two ounces um, of resin, which means one ounce of resin and one ounce of hardener. So I have this small cup that I can do the one ounce measure and I can mix it in here. And I'm just going to use popsicle sticks. And then of course we have to level it. And I bought these neat little things recently. And today's going to be my first day using them. I think they're going to work out great because my floor, this is an old building. And my floor is just, oh, look at my hands. Um, my floor is a mess. It's, it's, I think I, it rolls downhill or whatever. But I do have my handy little level here, so we will make sure that we are completely level with the, with the help of these little things. If you see, they, they unscrew, so you can just get the slightest little bit of, um, uh, height or if you have to drop it down on one side I mean it just it will make it a lot easier um, I'm always slipping paper underneath trying to get it just a hair up and um, this will be like one turn on the thing and, and it'll bring me a hair up so let's get started with mixing and measuring our resin gotta put these gloves on I'm also gonna take my watch off because I tend to get my band all gunked up. Okay, so I'm, I always like to start with the resin. I don't know if it makes a difference. Art resin is most definitely one of the easier ones to work with. I like to put my cap on right away so I don't get them mixed up. This one I'm just going to pour right in here. Okay, now we stir for three minutes. This is where my watch comes in handy because I'm going to set a three minute timer. So much about the bubbles because I'm going to torch them out later but you might want to be a little more careful than I'm, than I'm being here <laughs> we're getting a lot of bubbles as you can see So it's probably better technique, I don't know. The more I do this, the better I get at it. So maybe maybe we should only stir in one direction, I'm not really sure. Maybe it makes less bubbles that way. I don't pretend to be an expert at this. I like to share my experiments with you. And this isn't the first time that I've done this, but I haven't done a lot of it. We have 48 seconds left. Okay, so once once it's fully um, stirred and ready to go, 
you really have 45 minutes of work time. So you don't have to rush. Try to, you know, think clearly, make sure that your, your board is level. Just, um, you know, don't, don't get, like panic because you're rushing because you think you're gonna, it's gonna harden up and you're not gonna be able to uh, get it done in time. You have plenty of time. All right, so now I'm gonna get my board level. So my board, um, I'm gonna have them on the inside not, rather than the outside. That way it's more secure. And I really should have taped up the edges. Okay, so I taped up my edges with some frog tape. It's that green tape that you get at Lowe's and Home Depot. I prefer this tape over the blue tape. I don't know why, but it, it just seems to work better for me anyway. So like I said, I'm gonna put these on the inside so it'll be more secure. I'm gonna sort of pull them to the outer edges and I'm gonna make sure I'm level. This, this seems ridiculous that I'm, that I'm spending so much time on this, but it really makes a difference. So now that I'm level, I can pour. I'm gonna start from the center. Just move my little stick out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to start coaxing it to the edge. This is really going to bring out the color. The color is just going to just pop. self-level but this is why you have to make sure that your board is level because you don't want it to start all going to one side so you really have to um, make sure that you have this evenly done and that your resin isn't just going to fall off one side I 
time to get the torch. Okay, so I have my torch. I still didn't get one of those art resin torches. I think they look safer, so I'm probably gonna get one. But anyway, um, there's a whole bunch of bubbles over here and over here, over here. So hopefully you will be able to see because we've got a little bit of a highlight right around here. So maybe you will be able to see. afraid that I'm going to melt my tarp <laughs> but anyway it looks good um, looks actually really good um, I don't know if you can see this with the reflection but it looks really good so I am now going to cover it with a box and leave it overnight Okay, so I don't know if you could see this, but look at how nice and glossy that looks. See, with all the reflection. But I wanted you to see even, this is why I tape up the board, so that when the bubbles, you know, should they run down the side, they don't stick, you know, to the bottom of my board. Um, so this is why I tape the edges. As you can see, if the tape wasn't here, we'd have these bubbles here, which would not be good. So I'm going to remove the tape. And I'm probably going to have to touch up the edges with paint, some black, some black paint, and then maybe do some glossy, um, uh, you know, polymer, um, polycrylic is what I'm thinking of. So just to make this a little glossy. Um, the other thing that I could do is do a, um, a leaf, like a gold leaf or a silver leaf, copper leaf over here on just the edge, which also looks very nice. I'm very, very happy with the way this one came out. I think the pop, the colors really pop. I think this one, um, unfortunately, I think we lost the texture. So there's another one that I'm working on that has the same textural technique. And I'm gonna show you another way in a future video on how to retain that texture and still get a glossy finish. So the, because I, although I am very happy with this, it looks a lot flatter than it did when it had all that texture. So this is an interesting experiment. And um, I'm not so sure that I, although I love an acrylic resin finish, I'm not sure that I like that I missed them, that I've lost all my texture. So tell me what you think. Leave me a comment below. Do you prefer to hold on to that texture? I think maybe I do. So in the future, I will do a video and uh, probably next week, do another video, and then I'll show you them side by side. They're very similar techniques, um, but one will have a glossy finish holding onto the, the texture, and then compared with this one. So if you wanna see that, definitely leave me a comment below, and um, thank you for stopping by, and please come again soon. Take care, bye-bye.